tayang Nurul Fazlana Shazwani binti Awang Yaakob nombor metrik saya D53633 Hai, nama saya Umar Aiman bin Abdul Aziz nombor metrik saya D5319 Hai, nama saya Nuris Rumsyam Bilal Bukit Mahmat Yusuf Nombor metrik saya D53512 Hai, nama saya Wang Muhammad Rukman Hakim Bersyarung Dan nombor metrik saya D53562 <laughs> Nama saya Brady Sorry Hong Nombor metrik D53901 Hai, nama saya Muhammad Nombor Muhammad Bilal Nama saya Nurul Sofian Bintia Abdul Aziz Nombor matrik saya dia 53, 567 Jom kita start Hi, today we are going to talk about family of Karangide This family you can see it at the market And even if you go to the jetty You can see the fisherman bring it out so the Karangide are a family of fish which includes the jacks, pompanos, jack mackerels, runners and scats. There are marine fishes found in the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans. Most species are fast swimming predatory fishes that hunt in the water above reefs and in the open sea. Some dig in the sea floor for invertebrates. The largest fish in the family, the greater amberjack, Seriola dumerili, grows up to 2 meters in length. Most fish in the family reach a maximum length of 25 to 100 cm. There are a few general characteristics of family Karangide. Since most of them live at the pelagic water, Karangoides usually have a terminal mouth and villiform really teeth. The Karangide's fish commonly have skewed and forked fin. Skewed can provide stability and support to the caudal fin, while for caudal fin has low amount of surface area and resistance. This characteristic actually helps the Karangoides to swim fast. Fusiform shape mostly represented by fast swimming fish because it has low frictional resistance and enable fish to move fast. Did you know what makes it special? It has anal spines and two dorsal fins. These are habitat of Karangide. They are usually found at Pelagic Zone, which is open ocean. This is where you found some of the bigger marine life species. The sea floor, which is the Mesa Zone, is not Pelagic Zone. This species is also can be found on coastal waters. Most species are school adults of about 50 meters, which is the Capturus and Selascats. For Alectis, they are solitary when they are adult, but the young Alectis are forming schools. So next is family Karangide, such as Jacks, Scats, and Traveling. These are the capturous species such as the capturous acatsi, macrosoma and marietsi. For red tail scat, it has very long pectoral fin, while sharp fin scat has very short pectoral fin. They are usually caught by persin. Their commercial value are usually the same range. Next is Celeridus leptolepis, which is yellow striped traveling. Atulimati, which is one finless scat. Celebrups as oxy scat and Celacrumenoptalmus as big eye scat. Yellow striped tra traveli are usually caught by leaf nets and high opening bottom trolls, while one filet scat is caught by persin and also hook and line, while celebrus and celacrumenoptalmus is caught by high opening bottom trolls and persin. Hi, did you know the differences between these species? Let's talk about ox eye scat and big eye scat. Ox eye scat have a larger skew than big eye scat. If you look at these two species, ox eye scat have yellow or orange stripe at the dorsal. What about yellow striped scat and yellow tail scat? Yellow striped scat has a yellow stripe at the dorsal. Meanwhile, yellow tail scat doesn't have any yellow stripe, but it has 9 to 10 bands at the body. Yellow tail scat has a yellowish caudal fin. There are three common species that can be found at market just as Alapes melanoptera, blackfin scat, Alapes fari, hairy scat, Alapes jedaba, shim scat. 
there are the differences between three types of Aleppo species. At Blackfin Scat, as you can see, Spinous dorsofin is distinctly black. There are also a large black spot on upper margin of upper curl. Okay, let's move to the next species. That is Alapes furry, a common name is called hairy scat. Under the second dorsofin, it has a black line. Beside that, branch on the deeply forked tail. Opical big spot absent or indistinct. Meanwhile, on the Alapes jadaba or stream scat, it have light line under the dorsofin and it have a large skirt. As you can see, Alapes species can get caught by many ways, such as hook and line, leaf net, bamboo scat, bottom trowel and person. The commercial value for black pin scat is 10 ringgit per kg, hairy scat is 9 ringgit per kg, and scream scat is also 10 ringgit per kg. The black crown verb has strongly compressed body shape, weakly developed scutes, curly is brown on the dorsal part of the body, and silvery white on the ventral part of the body. The commercial value are 16 ringgit 43 cents to 18 ringgit and 34 cents. The fishing types are troll and long line. Black banded trivially have 5 to 7 dark diagonal bands or blotches on the dorsal part of the body. It also have whitish tips on the dorsal fin and also on the anal fin. The commercial value are 8 ringgit and 44 cents to 10 ringgit and 70 cents. The fishing types are troll. The great amberjack has bluish grey or elevations on the dorsal part of the body while silvery white on the ventral part of the body. The second dorsal fin and anal fins are low anterior lobe. The amber jack also have amber stripe along mid side of the body. The commercial value are 8 ringgit and 44 cents to 10 ringgit and 70 cents. The fishing type are thrall. Torpedoes cat, head and body are bluish to green dorsally while the sides and belly are silvery. Large back spot occurs on the upper club. It also has very large scutes and several detached finlet. The commercial value are 5 ringgit and 15 cents to 5 ringgit and 38 cents. The fishing types are troll and sometimes pull and line. I will talk about my part in the current day family of fish. First part is for the talang uh, queen fish, the baat queen fish, and the needle scale queen fish. Um, all three fishes uh, look the same, but have the distinct differences among each other. For the first fish, the talang queen fish, um, the differences between the talang queen fish and the baat queen fish is that um, the heads of the fish are different. For example, the talang queen fish has a much larger and rounder head compared to the barred queen fish which has a slightly deep head. Uh, for the next difference between the two are uh, the markings on its body. The talang queen fish has several black round markings along the side of its body. Uh, but the barred queen fish has several oval shaped black markings on its body. For the last fish, uh, the needle scale queen fish. The differences is that um, unlike the previous two, it has a longer body compared and several black dots along its body with a slightly dipped head. Um, all of the queen fishes are caught using thralls and occasionally caught by uh, sports fishermen. The price range of the fishes range all from 5 ringgit to 12 ringgit per kilo. For my next part, which is the uh, Alectus uh, part of the uh, Karangidae family, which include the Alectus indicus and the Alectus chiliaris. Both of these fishes have different uh, characteristics according to their age or maturity. For example, the Indian thread fin and the African pompano have um, several long threads 
coming from the dorsal and anal fins as juveniles. But uh, for the Alectus indicus, which is the Indian thread fin, will lose its threads when it's fully matured. But the African pompano, Alectus ciliaris, will retain a few of those threads. Um, differences include the heads of the fish. For the uh, Indian thread fin, the head has a slight curve to it, unlike the African pompano, which is mostly rounded. Both of these fishes are caught using thralls, and but the African pompano is a, a very popular game fish due to its size. For the Alectus indicus, the Indian thread fin, the prices during the season can range between 8 ringgit and 10 ringgit per kilo. But for the African pompano, Alectus ciliaris can range from 9 ringgit to 12 ringgit per kilo. Next are uh, Oraspis oraspis and Oraspis helvola. The difference between these species is by the scales under their pre opercolum. For Oraspis oraspis, it's continuous, net compared to Oraspis helvola with a broad pen of scale, followed by Atropus atropos has black pelvic fin, which makes it easier to identify. Then, for Ulua mentalis, their gill records are numerous and longer than Karangoy species. This is the common Karagoy species in our country. Now, I'm going to talk about Karangaidus species. Karangaidus coloropinatus and Karangaidus malabarius can be distinguished by number of key records. Karangaidus coloropinatus have 21 until 25 key records and Karangaidus malabarius have 31 until 37. Next, Karangaidus armatus. This fish only have the first tarsa of the second dorsal pin and anal pin forming filament, while the Coronidus atlantensis have bone at their head. Coronidus oblongus and Coronidus dinema. How to distinguish it? They have different in skewed length. Coronidus oblongus have straight part longer, and Coronidus dinema have straight part shorter. Other than skewed differences, as you can see. There is a shadow on the Karangaidus dinema. Okay, the commercial value for Indian trade fish is 9 to 11 ringgit per kilogram and for traveling fish is 20 to 25 ringgit per kilogram. How did it die cash? This species is usually caused by net. Last but certainly not least is the Karangoidis genus. So, in this genus, we have the yellow spotted traveli, the blager, the orange spotted traveli, and also the blue traveli. So, for the yellow spotted traveli, it has yellow spots in the band, while the orange spotted traveli, it has yellow spots all over its body, and so followed by the blue traveli only has bands on the body without any spots. So. As we can see in the picture, these are the characteristics that we can differentiate from all these fishes. Then, followed by the current genus, we have the giant traveli, the big guy traveli, and also the tail traveli. So, as we can see in the picture, the big guy traveli has small upper color spot, while the tail traveli has the big upper color spot which differentiates them so for the ways of catching these fishes is they are caught by using long line so this is the majority of people catching traveling which they use long line for the commercial value the yellow spotted traveling is averagely nine ringgit per kilogram for the bludger is 11 ringgit and 50 per kilogram orange spotted traveli is 8 ringgit per kilogram blue traveli is 8 ringgit per kilogram the giant traveli is 8 ringgit per kilogram big guy traveli is 9 ringgit per kilogram and lastly Tail traveling is 8 ringgit per kilogram.